presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year, and, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. That. And I got over fifty percent return in one day, not counting uh, everything else. But I just want to thank you. Tom's not perfect, but he tells you how to put your stops in, and he keeps your losses small. You can take your small losses, but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Root, and you'll hit a home run. I mean, a big home run. Yeah. And put the money in your pocket. Okay, I mean, brother. I You're awesome, man. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everybody's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about action, not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 92, NASDAQ off 108, SPs down 19, gold contract down $7.50, trading at 1782 an ounce. We had silver down 25 cents, 19 dollars 94 cents an ounce, light sweet crude up a buck 26. $87.79 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note down 18 ticks, trading 118.26. The 30 year off 29 at 140.10 in King Dollar. King Dollar right now is trading up 42 ticks, 106.542. Euro is at 101. Yen is at 135. And the British pound is at 120 to 1 US dollar. My phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we had the Fed minutes come out. The way that shook out, uh, folks, the bottom line is that uh, the market actually, uh, here, let me show you what this did. Because it's pretty cool what it did, actually. So if we pull up the E-mini, what you're going to see here, we did a 0.618. Well, I'm trading the, the NQs, but I believe the E-mini probably did the same. Let's look at it. So we did a 0.618 retracement in the NQs. Okay, so the E-mini did, did higher than that. And that would make sense because the E-minis, the S&P is stronger than the NASDAQ. Let me bring up the NQs. I'll bring up the NQs here. And you're going to see from the high, that spike high yesterday, to where we went is was right at a 0.618. Pretty cool. Now, so let's go back to the SPY again because I want to show you what we're looking at here, what I'm looking at specifically. This is where there was a question that then uh, about uh, where I'm thinking this market's going. So my take is this, that we're going to go like right, right now, too, I'm talking about later next week before we get to higher highs, that, see this gap that's open? The gap that's open, my take is we're gonna get that filled. Now, depending on how, if I'm correct, and depending on what type of volume we have coming down to it, if we start coming down with volume, what would probably happen is you're gonna go back to the breakout area of July 7th, July 27th. Now watch what this is also, because this is cool. So then we take that, and you take the full run. If you take the full run, what you're going to see is that the 27th of July is a 50% move of the move. So we'll see how it shakes out. The, for the first one, the gap, I, that's just, you know, the gap's the gap. That's the bottom line. Uh, that would almost be too easy, though, on a pullback. 
you know so it's like okay to get things real nervous which the market loves to do uh that <laughs> that number right there is probably in game but we'll, we'll see how it shakes out man uh ndx 100 same type of setup we got the ndx it's going to be interesting to see what kind of volume we get here today and where this thing ends up uh we're going to have higher volume so you know yesterday we made a high in the in, in the queues of 41 million you're already at 36 so we're going to do about 56 and you know we'll see whether uh where price goes you know I, you that you heard me at the beginning my take is we're going right back downtown and specifically one of the reasons was that we got back inside the strength too quick you know you had that big bar and the market had every chance to really run in a big way and it just it couldn't handle it, man. Got right back inside the bar. So we'll see how it shakes out. The dollar, man, this is still a toss up on the dollar. You know, uh, it, it's waffling again. You can see, you know, this benchmark here is an important benchmark. Uh, and it's almost like, okay, you know, most times with benchmarks are, folks, is where the most amount of buy in has taken place. Uh, but this looks to me the same way, but it's, you know, it's, it, in the currency market, man, there's just monster people in the currency market, in banks and everyone else, okay? So this is, this is the number you want to keep your eye on. You can see, you know, three weeks ago, we, we straddled that number for, what, two and a half weeks, and we broke it, went back above it, broke it with conviction, and, you know, it's, it's having a tough time staying in there. Notes and bonds. We go to the note and bond market. We take a look at the note and bond market out here. Now, this morning, this is going to be interesting. Yeah, it's still light volume, man. You're pulling back with light volume. You're pulling back. You, you did 100 and, uh, I mean, 1.1 million contracts. You are pulling into, there's your strength, man. You're pulling into 1.8 and 1.7. So the bond market, right there and right there, the bond market uh, doesn't have a lot of sellers. If we take a look at the, the rate structure in the 10 right now, the rate structure is uh, 2.88. That's getting up there, man. <laughs> That's definitely getting up there. Let's go take a look at the GDX for a couple of the tigers out here. The low for the GDX out here. Let's take a look. Let's fill in the gap. Yeah, I just filled the gap, but it went by the gap. The low is 25. The high is, no, no, one second. The low is 24. The high is 41. And we take a look at this. I already buy the gap. The gap was 2630 or 2581. You got an expansion of volume. The swing's 2529. Yeah, this can come right down to. This can get to 25. That's 2567. This, it, it looks like the. the 2542. Yeah, 2542, 2567, somewhere in there. Well, what I don't like here is that, you see the expansion in volume? The bottom line, that's expanding in volume right now. Let's go take a look at Newmont and uh, Barrick, because Newmont and Barrick are the biggest, two biggest. Yeah, Newmont has no traction. The, the good thing with Newmont now, okay, is that you don't have no traction, but you're going into something that's such a monster. I don't see it breaking it. And then we take a look at Barrick Gold. That's the second largest weighting structure inside the GDX. That's that's in pretty good shape, actually. See, you get expansion of volume there, but you see how, see how there's no movement in price? That's actually pretty good looking. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. In a time of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16-year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. 
Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial's down 169. You get the Nasdaq off uh, 151. S&P's off 30. So here's a couple quotes, you know, uh, inside of these minutes, folks, okay, which uh, you can just take them in. Uh, so Fed officials saw a slower rate, uh, slower pace of rate hikes at some point. Well, that's, that's pretty wide open, right? <laughs> Uh, many officials saw risk the Fed could tighten more than necessary. Officials judge that the bulk of tightening effect has not been felt yet. Okay, now here's a few more. Officials saw risk, this one's a, this one's a pretty wild one, man, but this is perception, because inflation, by the way, has a lot to do, once it's in our psyche, folks, and inflation, that's how it keeps accelerating. Officials saw risk if the public was questioning the Fed's inflation resolve. Now, you gotta remember something, that we're still running at eight point something, man, and they want this down to two, so just do the math on that. Fed officials saw ongoing rate hikes as appropriate, Fed officials judge moving to restrictive stands was required. Fed officials play down lower commodity prices, cooling inflation. And of course, that's the, that's the deal about the aspect of, um, you know, oil, oil is pulled down. We've definitely, listen, man, I mean, this thing could have peaked. I, I, I can see that. There's no doubt about that. Uh, but peaking at nine and then trying to bring it down uh, is a whole different ball game. That's, you know, we, we will get smoked at five, folks. You, you get 5% you get inflation every year. It's like, oh, my God, you know, you better ha own some assets, man, because if you don't, uh, <laughs> and I'm talking about hard assets, because, you know, those, that paper just, just light it up, because that's how quick it is. So let's go look. It didn't take them long to go after this market. You can see that. Uh, I believe we just gave back the whole strength that happened when they actually got released yeah we did so you take a look at this you know and see it's just on the other side man um you know we're not underneath it yet the beginning of that in the s p would be uh 4273 or 4274 you know but i expect you to be right back down there you know um we take a look at the nqs same type of setup inside the nqs and the NQ sh actually should be below it. It's not yet. That's interesting. Because, see, the, NQ the NQs are much weaker. 
You know, we could see that, the aspect that they couldn't fill up the gap, the whole ball of wax, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, so we'll see how this baby shakes out for the, you know, next half hour. Some of the higher volume equities in this market out here today. Oh, yeah, so let's look at this. Target, Target actually came out with numbers. And, you know, Walmart came out with numbers yesterday. Walmart numbers, bottom line, stock goes up. It pushed Target up. Target came out today. Uh, not the same situation, man. So Target's back uh, 483. We take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here. Excuse me, folks. You have, um, oh, this is Bed Bath & Beyond, man. There's something else. You talk about, you know what's amazing is that when, when you're first getting in the market, right, you know, you start learning about the aspect of going long, going short, and, you know, as long as you have a decent teacher, one of the things that they'll definitely teach you at the beginning that, you know, if you go short, uh, the bottom line is that, you know, there's not a number or a percentage that you may not lose. It could be thousands and thousands of percent. And, you know, when you hear that, it's like, okay, it can't go up that much. Can, well, we've found that in the meme, you know, COVID air and memes, I suspect, are not going away. Um, you can go up thousands and thousands of percent and get totally smoked. Um, and what I, what I can't figure out, this is what's kind of strange. So Bed Bath & Beyond, it has a 30% shot position. Uh, I could understand professional investors shotting prior, shotting equities like this, prior to the meme Reddit deal, okay? Because the bottom line is that I've seen plenty of stocks here, your shot position of 30%, they go bankrupt, okay? I can't see that after they saw how Reddit put some monster hedge funds out of business. <laughs> it's like crazy, man. It's like, you gotta go somewhere else. These playgrounds are done, you know? Because the reality is that this whole setup, okay, is a probability setup. And when you have thousands of traders that know, I mean, it's public information, you, you, you look at it, you say, okay, this is cool, man. There's only 80 million shares. You get uh, 30, uh, 29 million that are shot. Actually, it's a 40, it's 43%. Yes, yeah, 43% of them, right? Yeah, 43%. I mean, that's pretty cool. You know, you don't, look at this, you get 215 million shares out here. You know, you get the gist of it. The gist of it is uh, digitally, when folks get together like this, that game is over, you know? You, you get to find, you're gonna go shot, you're gonna find equities that number one, have a, it's less than 10% float, number two, it's the beginning of the deal, you know? Oh, you're just gonna get you're gonna get chopped up like I mean beyond belief. There's uh, that 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 stock. So the the biggest stock right now, <coughs> excuse me, um, the the Chinese stock. It's digital. What is it? One of the targets. Tell me in the den, please. Uh, this stock here, folks. Okay, is like the the CEO is basically under investigation in the Hong Kong exchange to start with, right? I mean, this thing went up, it, it, it went up like, I don't know, thousands and thousands and thousands of percent, um, you know. And the bottom line is that, yeah, there it is. Let's pull it up, AMTD. This is like sick. Now look, now look at this thing. So, oh no, that's not, hold on, AM, no, this is not it, AMTD, hold on, I, I must, A, yeah. Yeah, no, it, it's a symbol close to that. But the, the, my point to the story is, oh, I, thank you, Dan, AMT Digital. Yeah, that'll, that'll pull it up. Whoops. There it is, I got it. Oh, yeah, AMT, that is it, I think. But it's not trading at $2, is it? Hold on, one second. Maybe this is it. Maybe it's back down to $2. That'll blow my mind. This thing was at thousands and thousands of dollars, I think. Yeah, no, this is it. Okay, well, this is it here anyway. This the stock. It started at a dollar. 
goes all the way up to 1290 two weeks ago. Now you're back down to 260. And uh, HDK, I see what's going on there. That's in Hong Kong, right? HDK, HDK, HDK. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, I, I'm, they're related companies. I see. Yeah, I'm lost in that loop there, folks. 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials are down uh, 130. Nasdaq's up 135. S&P's off 25. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's off 150. Nasdaq's off 137. S&Ps are off 26. And so this is, quite a, this is quite a quote. Look at this one here, man. So this is the founder of uh, Wall Street Bets. Uh, he doesn't... Uh, he's not a moderator anymore, uh, but the bottom line is this is what he says. Uh, summer vacation is over, everyone's back in school, and that's when activity kicks back up. Uh, he said in an interview uh, this morning on uh, Bloomberg. Um, you know, bottom line, the drivers are the same. Relatively distressed, highly shorted companies that once again getting pushed by day traders. Um, you know, so the, it's, it's, it's a recipe, man. <laughs> there's, there's no doubt that it absolutely is a recipe, you know, and something that uh, is not gonna end. I mean, it's not even close. Uh, the question is, is that are any of these folks making any money? 
that's that's a whole nother animal, man, because if you think you need fast fingers in a highly volatile market, I can't imagine what you need when well let's go to the bed bath and beyond right now because that this is the this is the number right now that they're taking yesterday it had that at, at one point so picture this at one point yesterday this is what it's saying that bed bath and beyond okay let's see short interest in the stock reached 70 percent or 55 percent of the free float yesterday um right now i got it at 43 and if you look at this intraday, it's pretty amazing. I mean, you know, yesterday we went from uh, 15 bucks up to 28, back to 18. This morning it opened at uh, 26, goes to 30. It's kind of laying out there. Uh, let's go take a look at the uh, good old... Well, no, actually, I'm going to go into Amazon. Let's go take a look at Amazon. Amazon, I was looking, where do you see this, man? This is kind of intriguing. So Amazon's trading flat out here, but look at this. This is going to be intriguing, man. So Amazon, where is this? Yeah, Amazon is testing a TikTok, a TikTok-like app um, among its employees. The Wall Street Journal reported out here. Can you imagine? <laughs> so I could pitch this. Can you imagine? I, we were speculating upstairs in the office, like, okay, what would it be like? Well, I've, I've seen a couple TikToks at folks, okay? My understanding is that TikTok is the, one of the most addicting apps there are, is, is rather. And so when I saw that, I was saying to myself, oh, could you imagine if they have some kind of a TikTok that just keeps you shopping, man, right? You, you go from, you know, I, I guess there are snippets of, uh, you know, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds at a pop. I, I, listen, man, I, I can see it happening. I can definitely see it happening. And that would be pretty wild. There's no doubt about that. Let's go into the Dow Industrials and take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. Uh, Point-wise out here today, what we have, whoop, there we go. You have Apple, I think. Yeah, Apple's leading the charge. That's putting uh, 10 positive points. Chevron 9, IBM 7. Taken away from it. You got Boeing minus 28, 3M minus 20, Visa minus 17. Nothing heavy, really. Nothing, there's, not, there's nothing that really sticks out. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness. Apple's up 1%. You got Ross Stores up uh, 6 tenths of 1%. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, folks. On the downside, there's some big ones. You got Zoom right now. Is down five and a half percent. Moderna is down five point seven. DocuSign is off uh, five point six, and you got ADI analog devices on five point four. So there's some numbers there. Let's go to Moderna and see what's happening with Moderna. This thing, you know, no doubt has been highly volatile. Um, you know, yeah. Look at this. Two weeks ago, it was up at uh, one ninety seven or one fifty eight. So I see what happens. So this is cool. You got so picture this, folks. Okay. Oh, I want to look at this. So this is a big consolidation. Yep, it's a consolidation. Okay, so this is a good setup, man. Okay, now I wouldn't be mind Moderna yet, but let me tell you something. So yeah, look at this first swing point. Okay, so first off, Moderna went from $497. First leg down took you to 122. Well, it was a couple legs down. My, I'm, I'm using that leg because the first time that it's not getting any strength at all was on the, this is a uh, well, yeah, weekly up. I got a weekly up. Yeah. Uh, it rejected lower price the week of the 17th of June. Then what you did two weeks ago is that you took the swing out and you took it out with volume. That's these, when you take a swing out with volume on a weekly and you're pulling back, you know, just let this pull back, man. I suspect it'll pull back with the market, but if it has lower volume, if there's 131 to 115, you want to, you don't want to be in that because what you have is that what's happening there, that's the initial break out in 2020. And now you get a high volume high at 197. This is how you build cause to get through a supply line. You go up, you go back with lighter volume. You go up and take out the swing, you go back with lighter volume. You know, it's a long drawn out affair and i remember the first time i remember the first time so well um and i forgot who was explaining to us it was it was crazy because it was 
I'm going back now. Oh my God. I think I'm going back to like 1998 or 97. And yeah. And the first time I heard it, I says, what? I gotta wait this long? You know, this whole building cause thing? You know, what is this building cause thing? And anyway, after a while, it, it does not drive you crazy. The first couple of years, it used to drive me crazy. Then I really dig it because when you, got, when you understand it, you know, what happens is that you realize that equities have to build cause to go up or to go down. It's all about the energy, the energy that gets accelerated inside the equity. And realistic is the energy that's all of us combined because this market is one market, one round little deal going in and going out. Let's go to the silver market and take a look at the silver market out here. So we're into the 19 handle now in silver. Um, it's been coming down with light volume, and it's light volume again today, but the bottom line, you're at 1980. We have volume of 47,000 contracts, and you're going into 62, and you're going into 86. So that's a decent setup. Still need buyers. Oil. Oil has been amazing, man. So we take a look at the active contract in oil right now. It's $87.70. Okay, this one's lower price, man. This is, well, you can see today, we, we had big volume yesterday. Didn't hit the low today, though. It, the low yesterday was 85.73. It would have been better if it hit the low, because you can see that light volume, 85.55. It didn't hit it. This, this, is, this is like building cars. That's the bottom line, um, you know, right here. And, you know, we'll see how it shakes out. But that's telling me if we put the generic contact, uh, contract up, it looks to me that this thing wants to go down to the 66 mark. Put this on a weekly. Yeah, see the top of that? Yeah, it's, oh, no, no. Oh, I see. No, okay. So there's a, there's support here. Not not a whole bunch. It must be a swing point. Yeah, this, there it is. Okay. Once once it's eighty five forty one, folks. You break eighty five forty one. Let's say eighty five eighty four. You break that. If you break it with conviction, guess what? That baby is gonna go down to the next level. And the next level starts at seventy six and goes down to sixty seven. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow down 136. NASDAQ's up 146. S&P's down 25. We're coming right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, 
trade LABU or LABD. Directions Daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials off a buck 39. Nasdaq's off uh, 147. S&P's down uh, 25. Let's just go see how this volume's coming in here. So you got approximately 20 minutes uh, left. We have on the SPY, we did a high yesterday of 59. You're at 52. So you're going to have more volume on the SPY on the way lo lower. If we take a look at the Qs, what we did with the Qs out here, Qs yesterday had volume of uh, 41 million, we've already done 40. So the queues are gonna do about 50 million. And in both of these cases, folks, you, you can see this gap's wide open. It's not far away either. So I think that thing is game in spades. Yeah. And we'll see about the uh, next level down. And uh, bottom line is if we pull back, so, so pitch this, if we pull back to the first gap, and as you're pulling back, you do not get a large expansion of volume. I'm not talking about a small one, a large one. That would be saying that the first gap is cool. Now let's go to the other scenario. Let's picture that as it's coming back, your volume expands. If that volume expands, you know, let's say by a good 10%, whole different ballgame, man. What would happen there is that I suspect what you're going to do is you're going to pull back to the 50% line of the move on the, on the top side. And I'm sure, you know, a lot of you listeners heard, heard you know, Tommy, myself, you know, uh, Steve Rhodes, um, bottom line, as we were coming up to those highs, um, we were actually talking about just the aspect that if you get a 50% retracement or even a 38% retracement, how large that is. Uh, and it's always hard, okay? So what ends up happening, if you're not used to trading, you know, percentages and FIB numbers in general, it's really hard to basically look, you know, and say, hey man, you know, here, cause let's just pull it up here. Cause I want to show you something. Cause you, you don't see these like a lot, but when you see them, it's important. You can see that this is the spy, right? And you can see when we're up at those highs, the spy, you know, at, this is at the, the cash index. Okay, the cash index was at 4,800 at a high, right? Well, the 50% retracement, okay, was, you know, 38. So that's a thousand points, right? 40, no, no, 40, 800, 800 points. Now, when you're trading, you know, or even investing, you gotta be getting nervous <laughs> because a, a normal, this is what's pretty cool, a normal retracement, even in a bull market is 50%. Well, it shows here we only did 38. So that's saying that you're still in a good market. Now, if we go over to the queues, we take a look at the queues, We'll do the same type of exercise. Put this back. And you're gonna see, we take the cues from the beginning to the top. And look at that, the, the cues did over a 50% retracement. So that's how important the 
Fibonacci expansion contraction theory actually is. That if you, when you get used to looking at markets and percentages, it's a whole different ball game. And what ends up happening, of course, is that because we had never really had a pullback since the March 2020 low, well, a normal pullback, okay, is a disaster. And that's what we saw. So we'll see how the rest of the shakes out. I want to bring that up in the aspect because once you start getting used to, um, and, and what does happen with the Fibonacci concept is that you have that number because it's a leading indicator. Doesn't mean it's gonna go there, okay? But the bottom line is that you have the number. You know what the number is. So then you can turn around and decide that what type of risk are you willing to take if in fact that type of contraction took place. And then on the other side of that, you basically look at it and say, okay, let's come back 50%, 0.382, 50618, you know, what, whatever one of those contractions they had as you're trying to come back into the market. Now the ultimate would be as a buy, this would be according to time of the trade, okay, is that we'll put the SPY up again. So we talked about this date right here. This is the date that I think it's actually gonna to go to because the SPY, that'd be 394 to 402, and you're at 426. And, and the reason is this. Well, number one, it's a 50% retracement of the deal, right? But see the volume there? The, the volume, that was when we broke top side. That was the ABC up. So it's like, okay, that's, that's doable. And it's also doable of the deal that when you're coming off a larger low like this, what ends up happening is that, you know, is this over? Is this going to go past it? All of the above. Uh, in fact, yeah, I got to bring this up because this is, this is, you know, my take, you know, is that, yeah, we have seen the bottom, but I got to, I got to find this article, man, because this, uh, this, uh, article, Yeah, I don't have it. I, uh, this, is, this is an article I feel it was Bank of America um, that this one deal has been 100% true, uh, not true, probability-wise has worked, and it has to do with, I'm really going to try to explain it. I'm going to try to find it. I'll have it by tomorrow. Uh, it's, yeah. It's, it's quite an article, man, and, it, and, it's, and it's technical. And it's easy to understand. I'm not saying that, but what I mean, I like, I like the idea that it's technical. They're using just, like, facts. When this happens, this happens. When this happens, this happens. And we know in the marketplace, like, you know, things can change all the time. But what I have seen is that bottoms, folks, are easier, in my opinion, to call than tops. Because what happens at bottoms, right, the whole world is like, it's the end of the world, man. It's, it's over. It's like, okay, man, <laughs> you know, that's not the case, but the bottom line, that's how it feels. And most of the time, even when you go in at that level, you're gonna get stretched a little bit more. And what that is specifically is that, and it's still the same ratio, it's when the first leg comes down, let's say it's, you know, 10, and then the next leg is 16.8. Because when you do more than a 1 to 1 1.8, 618, ABC structure down, that's how most markets end. And most times, you actually do a 1 to a 2 ABC structure down. And then it flips around, and then it takes off topside once again. Because what it's done, it's cleaned everything out. Everyone's out. Bottom line, once everyone's out, it doesn't take a lot of buy-in. That's, that's, that's how it shakes out. Let's go take a look at the uh, NQs out here. So they're just slowly making their way down to the beginning of before the Fed came out. And I, yeah, so this is, you can see this, this has been building cause here. We're still at the strength, though. That's the bottom line. Until this uh, breaks that strength, the strength started at uh, 473, and we're at 496. That's how it's laying out. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back.
The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years of experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's uh, off 160. NASDAQ up 158. S&Ps are off 30. Let's go take a look at the indice volume out here. So inside the NYSC right now, we're going to be running... 541, so that's uh, about 750. Inside the composite, we are going to be at uh, probably 52, somewhere around 52. Let's go look at this again. That's not a lot of volume, by the way. Um, yeah, it's not. We'll see how this shakes out. What is interesting about this little symbolism up here? Uh, it's not quite, you know. Uh, a tri-star doji. A tri what happens with a tri-star doji, folks, inside the uh, candlestick charting is that you get three of these little dojis at the top. We don't, we don't have it, though. That's the bottom line. Um, this, this is still telling me, though, this wants to get back in. And more than likely, I suspect what it's, what's going to be the catalyst here is probably still the dollar. You know, the, the, this dollar is still shaky, shaky, you know, in the aspect of this uh, 106,792 area. We're, we're 100 ticks. We're 126 below it right now, but it's hanging there, you know. And this dollar, you know, you can see how this works. It, you know, just because the dollar goes up or down every day, it's not a direct correlation, you know, minute by minute. And it, ha it has been, but the bottom line is that that fluctuates a bit, you know. We we've, we've seen that fluctuate. We've seen it when uh, it had a hard break downtown and gold still didn't move. That you know, that basically said quite a bit, really. Um, you know, the other side of that is that, yeah, we have no sellers in the gold market. 
um, but we have no buyers. And we've been through this before, man. I've been through this before in the gold market. And until the buyers come in, you know, they, they, they're not there. And that's what you need to get to a higher price. That's the bottom line. Um, you know, we'll see how this shakes out uh, coming into tomorrow. But my take is that that gap now, that gap is game under, underneath us. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks.